Okay, here is my custom build of a Smith & Wesson MP10. Um, I started off originally in the first video with uh, my Nikon M308 scope. Since then I've gotten a Troy 13.8 inch free float, uh, low profile I might add, so that they line up. Um, Handguard, got a little Magpul grip, uh, Magpul sling adapter, there's how much barrel is showing. And you gotta remember the Smith West MP10 is a uh, 18 inch barrel. I've got a cheesy little sling or cheesy little bipod on it. I will be getting an Atlas eventually. <sighs> nice little feature. I also put a Ergo uh, original ambidextrous pistol grip on it. Um, you have to get an adapter or a a wedge to put in here because it's made for an AR-15. Since it's an AR-10, it's a little bigger, a little different. Uh, they sell the wedges through, I know Magpul sells them for I think it was like three fifty or something, $3.50, not bad. Um, one thing you have to remember is uh, with the Smith & Wesson MP10, it has a different um, spring set. For this pin to make it pop into place, it has a spring that pushes it and usually comes out the back. Well, for the MP10, it actually comes through the bottom. So instead of just having the spring that, for this, you have another place for a spring, uh, like a little hole. It's only about three one hundredths of an inch deep, but uh, it's not too hard to compensate to drill a little hole. Um, then here is my my stock. It is a custom Reaper ACS mag pole. Um, Got quick detach sling mounts on it. I will be getting these replaced with black ones as soon. Um, when they shipped it, they didn't have any more black ones, so they just sent me green ones and they'll send them to me eventually. A quick note, just remember this is a uh, mil spec buffer tubes on the MP10s, so you have to make sure your stock's mil spec. Other than that, this is my custom build of the Smith & Wesson MP10. Can't wait to go shoot it.